in America today, speech is violence right, to the progressives. So, so oh, it, you, need to, you need to be silenced because what you're saying is, is dangerous, it's harmful, it causes trauma, right? They're equating it with, uh, with violence. Also, silence is violence too, right? So your speech is violence and silence is violence because it happens to rhyme. Uh, put that in the category of you can't win. But then also from the left, actual violence is brushed aside as simply uh, uh, peaceful freedom of speech. Oh, peaceful protesters, right? Like actual, like committing violence are just peaceful. So like how Orwellian is that? But it's no surprise. Was it yesterday we talked about the die statements? Diversity, inclusion, and equity. Diversity is uniformity. Inclusion is exclusion. And equity is discrimination. So it's all backwards. I got another Orwellian phrase from Stephen Hayward. Uh, whenever you hear someone say, we need to have a conversation about X. No, we need to, we need to have a conversation. <laughs> what they really mean is, you need to shut up about X and agree with me right now in full. It's the opposite of what they say. Remember this tweet? Uh, I don't think we ever talked about this. This was sent out by the Penn State Liberal Arts Department a couple weeks ago. It came out when we were doing our radio show. I remember it came in the middle of the day and we read it. And when I first read it, I thought, because I knew it, the story was it got taken down. And I read it on the air live and I thought, what is... What's wrong with this tweet? Why was it offensive? Why was it dangerous? Why was this speech dangerous? And, and, I, and I read it, I read it, and I was like, oh, oh, I bet it's that. And sure enough, it was. So here's the tweet. Do we have the, can you throw it up here? So this is uh, Penn State, Liberal Arts Department. Dear students, dear black students, your lives matter. Dear Muslim and Jewish students, your beliefs are valued here. Dear conservative students, ah, that's the problem. Your viewpoints are, point, points are important. Dear Latinx students, you will not find walls here, female students, LGBTQ, blah, 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 blah. It was the conservative uh, student part. You can't, you can't have conservative. You're not welcome here, quite frankly. So check this out. This is from the uh, Penn State campus newspaper about why they took the tweet down. Uh, the, do, 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 the school faced backlash from Penn State students who found the tweet harmful towards students of color and ignorant of the systemic issues that oppress people of color in the United States today. Student Cassandra Nunez said the experience of conservative students and students of color cannot be presented as equal in any way. Quote, conservatives in the United States do not live in a system that was built from the blood and trauma of their ancestors. A system that continues to put down people who look like uh, their ancestors every day. Amani Murray said, uh, uh, Adding conservative students to the inclusivity tweet, the university neglected her experience as a black woman. Murray said the tweet demonstrated a lack of understanding from Penn State's administration and brought a sense of shame and humiliation to Penn State's communities of color. So that has all the buzzwords there, right? Just in that short paragraph from that article. It's got, uh, so these are systemic issues. Blood and trauma. You're, you're neglecting my experience as a victim of a... Of a of group shame and humiliation. <laughs> He's got everything. It's, the only thing it's lacking is I'm tired. That's my favorite excuse that these Black Lives Matter people give these. Oh, I'm exhausted. I'm so tired. I'm tired. Oh. It's got it all right there, though, in just that one paragraph. But the conservative part, oh, no, no, no. It's got to be, had to be taken down. How dare you put conservative students in the same category? Slater Crusaders, thanks for watching the first on YouTube. If you want more, like, subscribe, we got plenty.